grow, grow. <laughs> party. Honestly, this is the best I've ever seen party time do. Period. Opponents or or in a deck that we've done for sure. I've never had a good party time deck. The party times are insane because of the Dino Roar. Like drawing cards isn't enough, but gaining all this tempo, man. And chump blocking and being a bottom for Savage. Oh, that's such a slow play, bro. Now he only has one. He only has one brain left. What's going on everybody, this is Fry. So today we're going to be combining Guardian Package with Leafy Synergy. Leaf is uh, a synergy I can hardly ever use. The Savage Spinach if it's played on top of another Leafy card. Uh, every single card both on the board and in your hand will gain plus two attack. It can be very powerful. It really limits your deck building. Uh, you have to start running one cost, you know, Leafy cards like Party Time. I guess Bong Choy is a pretty decent card though. It counters a lot of things in the game really sort of has more power than its cost when you're using it to front something. Uh, also running Doubled Mint in this deck. So the idea is to run a Guardian Package Leafy deck with Doubled Mint, which can, again, be covered and used to, in order to buff all the rest of your cards. This can also start off as a 3-2, which makes it very powerful uh, when it's actually buffed by Savage Spinach. Uh, doubled Mint also really benefits a lot from the four photosynthesizer running. So photosynthesizing anything from your Forget-Me-Nuts to your Triceratops, Triceratops, it'll actually activate the Dino Roar, giving that to your Doubled Mint makes it, you know, get it up to four health, so that'll activate it, make it very strong. Um, also, Captain Cucumber is going to buff your Dino Roars. This also has synergy with your Conjure from the Photosynthesizer, since that card will cost one less. A little bit of card draw for the late game. Running Bananasaurus Rex, because um, it has the Conjure synergy. It also has synergy with Party Time. That Party Time has a whole bunch of ways of doing bonus attacks in this deck. I'd love if there was a deck that Party Time was actually consistently good, but between all the bonus attacks we're running with the Bananasaurus Rex, and the plant food, and the fact it's a leafy card, so it can always be used as a bottom in order to buff the rest of your cards in the deck, uh, and for Savage Spinach, so hopefully that'll justify party time. Also, we're also running Coffee Ground, so you could even party time one Coffee Ground on two. More likely, you're going to want to, you know, once you have a Triceratops that's sort of um, grown a lot, and the opponent is just resorting to chump blocking it. Same thing with Double Man, if you're playing these on the ground. Being able to play Coffee Grounds then really prevents them from doing that strategy. Uh, even just even a big Savage Spinach or even a Captain Cucumber played in the Coffee Grounds has double the effect. This will be conjuring two cards a turn and will put you way ahead in terms of card advantage. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the game. Uh, we'll do bets. Uh, I think these games should go relatively fast. So if you think this deck will go 8 wins out of 10, vote yes. 7 wins out of 10 or fewer, vote no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash Prima. Forward slash your mom. Forward slash she's ugly. Uh, pretty good starting hand. We got our leafy combo. We got our guardian package combo. Again, the forget me nots into Triceratops is really good because this prevents them from playing anything on one. Unless they do that. Um, I wonder if I even play this now. I think I'm going to play the Bonk Choi. It just gets more value. Uh, it also just prevents them from dealing with the Triceratops on turn two. I could do it for that reason. I'm gonna go for the Bong Cho here. We'll play this. I guess the. I guess the Triceratops wants to be more to the right, so, you know, proc the block, Dino or activates. Forget Me Nuts wants to be on heights, it's more important than the 2 1 Bong Choi. See if the opponent comes in with a sumo here. It's another one. So. Uh, turns out the one on the left takes the damage. He can't really add more than... Well, he can galvanize this lane and actually kill Triceratops. So I am going to play this on Heist. It plays into... It plays into uh, Alienus, but what can you do? That is fine. So we have a really strong play in Triceratops Photosynthesizer. It, it's like the highest... Val or Holofloor, I mean. It's like the highest tempo Holoflora possible. Turn two Triceratops. Turn three Triceratops. Holoflora. Ridiculously strong play. Uh, the, the weed spray is not even relevant. So we'll give him like this. I love how this little Bong Choi looks like it's doing nothing. 
but it actually is uh, such a good bottom for this leafy card coming in here the savage spinach really good upgrade and he does have aliens fortunately the man is stalling with the gladiators but i think we're just we're gaining so much card advantage and so much tempo kind of getting ridiculous right now So it seems like an easy spinach, right? This will go up to 4-6 in, in the environment and 6-5. And this hand is ridiculous. We have a 1 cost 4-1 for Get Me Nuts. A 3-2 double mint that we can actually give a little extra health. So I haven't done any damage to his face, but we're, we're really far ahead in terms of the uh, tempo of the game here. Definitely hold on to that. Take the buff for the Dino Roar. And we'll definitely use this next turn to... Uh, <laughs> further dominate here. We can even go again with the Bonk Choi stuff. What is the play here? So it's gonna be double strike in either of these lanes, doesn't really matter. We could protect doubled mint. I could just double strike here. Actually, there should be a play where we win here, right? So this is gonna be 16 and 4 just wins the game. That's guaranteed lethal. <laughs> that is guaranteed. <laughs> Whee! Got him. That's why you don't play big zombies on turn five, man. Really, against dry plays, that's when the, the uh, coffee grounds is so good. That was guaranteed after turn five. <laughs> if he has 20 health, it's guaranteed lethal on turn five, guys. That is what I call, call the OTK. So this deck is obviously, so far, so good. Played a little bit of Marble Snap earlier today, that was fun. I'll probably do a few more streams of that, see how it goes. Um, need... Score. So we got Bong Choi. Let's get rid of these. Ooh. Party time could be decent. Let's keep this. Let's keep this. Maybe I should have gotten rid of the Bong Choi then. <laughs> so we'll try to draw out Rolling Stone. And again, that will be set up for later. I wonder if this should have gone in lane 4 so it draws cards while things are doing bonus attacks during the attack phase. Yeah, this is a card that should go should go in for. So I could go for the card draw right away. <laughs> I can also, uh... I think I'm gonna just play Triceratops here, develop it. You know what I mean? It, this starts growing, and uh, maybe we'll play Coffee Grounds in too. Would have really made this card survive, though, well... Well, probably just ready to rumble and either coffee grounds or doubled mint. If our opponent passes here for turn three, we play Forget Me Nuts. This plays really well around um, around Weed Spray. This is the killer. Usually on turn three, well, actually, that's the turn you want to play. I think I'm going to go for the coffee grounds. I like the card draw. It also just kind of gives tempo here. We could develop another card, but. Rolling Stone becomes strong when we play this. Is this a good turn to play Coffee Grounds? You could also play an Environment, which is very strong. Double Min is probably the play here. It means we can't ca capitalize on the extra cards, though. Double Min could also die to a throw, but we don't know what it's gonna... I'm gonna develop Double Min. It's a, it's a strong enough play. I don't think we need to draw a card and get a 1-1 one, one on Triceratops. And there's so there's very few things that answer his double mint here. He would need to spend his whole turn rolling stoning it, which means he doesn't have that available for this. And uh, any environment counters, uh, especially black hole counters, uh, the coffee grounds, so no regrets there. I hope this throws to lanes 1 or 2. We don't want this double mint dying. That is fine. So Rumble kills us. Wonderful. Right? We have a really strong board developed right now. So we actually have ways of playing around 
Okay, so we could go with two. This rumble's not great. I could just play this later. Probably, if this is a pogo, he'll have three things he needs to bounce. I'm just going to develop a whole nother threat. I think that's the way. That's cool. Pretty good play. Uh, double mint size. But B-Rex is sort of, you know, off the hook here. Doing a bunch of damage, proccing the block, or in a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, sorry, I forgot to change the score. I knew I was forgetting something. In my old age. We are 1-0. Oh. So we hold that. Oh, it's going up to 5-5. Five, five. Ridiculous. Gotta watch our health. Frenzy, that. Cool. So this is a decent rumble. What else do we do? One, two, three, four. Uh, we could play around Yeti and and protect this. Doesn't really play around Pogo though. Is this a worth it protect? I think it is. Because turn five, it's likely gonna be it. Got it! Yes! <laughs> I'm so happy it's Yeti. Ah, uh, that's fine. So unfreezes and does five damage. Love to see it. We're doing so much damage here. We'll be down to six. But um we could use that plant food right about now. Don't really need to savage spinach here. I guess we'll just play these two anyway, though. I guess I'll upgrade it. The bigger turn. Damn. So that sucks. We'll probably block here. Breakthrough. Uh, we just need a block. That's for the whole game. It's about us not rolling a one and a two here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on! Actually, yeah, yeah, it's a three. Yes! Lethal! Got him! BM Polaflora. And we get 10 damage. Overkill. Hell yeah! That was a close game. Easy. Really able to play around weed spray that game. We had it anyway. Man, <laughs> Guardian package is so good. No sign of Captain Cucumber yet. There you are. That's a curve, and we need something to deal with the cheese guy. I, I think I'm going to keep this. Again, like, Captain Cucumber buffs both of these dinosaurs. These are also very difficult cards. The 3-3 three, three is easy for Boogaloo to deal with, but the rest of it is... Difficult. I think we just trade these here. I wonder if we don't, since this will end up proccing our block a lot. <laughs> Interesting. We'll do 3 plus 2. He's doing 4 plus 1. So after two turns. So this is either a rat, a squirrel, or a newspaper. So this is a really easy Triceratops. Sorry, someone's knocking on my door. Can you get that? Sorry, just a second. It's just the superintendent of my apartment checking out something. What did they do? 
Looks like it worked. What else did they do though? He played... He played B B Bungie. Oh my, what a terrible play. Uh, don't have to play around chickening. That's the good news. I could be Rex here. I also could Captain Cucumber and make this a, lot, a little bit more. Uh, because of the party time, we're definitely gonna go with this. Just, uh, just put it by the way. You can unplug that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a little weird timing. So we got the lightning bolt, but uh, oh man, this, this B Rex is just out of control already. So we go party time plant food? <laughs> so cool. Should I be investing so much into this one Bananasaurus Rex? I wonder. Well, it plant food to six, so all these cards become lethal. Anyway. We just need to do six bulls too, so that's a really good play. Let's see if you have, well, chickening doesn't help either, because this is a 8-6 now. <laughs> so it looks like the party time they're getting it done. He has chickening, it's too slow. He actually had that, and he played around it on, on because the forget-me-not screwed up the chickening he was going for it. Love it. I'm going to get copyrighted for this music. One second. Anyway, sorry. Right. It's the uh, carbon monoxide detector. The the, the person is uh, is is it's, it was wasn't working, so they're changing it. And uh, can you hear it beeping in the background? You probably hear it. Are you guys getting ear raped? Here's the plant plan. Sniping. What do we do with this hand? We have the leafy synergy. I wonder if I should look for a better start, though. I think because of, in the spirit of this deck here, we're going to actually go... Going face with this on one against huge G is also fine. I think I'm going to hold on to this. It's not going to really remove this very easily. So, I think because he passed, we play around... Doesn't really matter which turn we play it. We play around the um, huge gigantic superpower. That would be... Really dodging a bullet if he has that, just slowing it down by uh, so much. Just so much. Really negates the effect of it because he's just wasting two turns playing the card. I think double bong joy to face if he passes here is really good. It's so much damage. So much damage! you guys you could hear the beeping so you thought it was your fire alarm i'm sorry <laughs> my sincerest apologies so i just go double phase here oh, yeah. that's so much damage and again it's just the the, the solia body on the board that will be a 4-1 when we cover it too Let's see if he gets three health that would be pretty lucky there's a lot of things with two health here oh he got one of the best, <laughs> the best three drops we cost four three ridiculous Man's got some stats. Stats. Oh, these teleports. You can't really use them so mana efficiently here. We'll see if we can roll a one with the cucumber. We might as well not beat it to the... To the beast. Is he leaping here? Oh. No. Can we roll a one? Nope. Chonk Boy. Chonk Boy, the MVP of this game. I don't know if it's... I kind of want a Holoflora before I use the Savage Spinach. It just hits more things. It's a very interesting use of... Uh, of the freeze environment. It's keeping a 2-1 alive. So sure about that boy. I think I'm going to Holoflora and see what I get here. We maybe even can develop double mint. 
It doesn't make sense to just savage spinach. It does five, actually. It's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. This could also be a pogo. We should probably be playing multiple cards this turn. <laughs> so we could develop Doubleman. We can also just develop Cucumber. This looks really good. Hell yeah. It's Pogo, so we played around that pretty well. I, maybe I should have played... Well... So, so we, we're getting a bunch of cards now with the Savage. That's a 4 cost bird. Rumble is so good here. Yeah, it's a nice to teleport too, so we'll use it now instead of next turn. Heck yeah. <laughs> so, we can photo here. If he passes, I'd love to play the forget me nuts. Let's cheat. Mix of grave diggers in lane one. Pogo is in two. Mog Pogo. I think playing multiple cards here is the way. So we'll do it like this. There's obviously no point in protecting the 1 2 against a 5 5. It's just developing more threats. So we'll definitely draw a card and. Oh. It's going face for now. Spinach didn't make sense. Because it just gets bounced. Maybe Spinach wants to play. Rocking the block for one. Really nice. How do you do that? You click on the mix of grave digger while it's going to the grave and you start scrolling from side to side. You can see what I am. See where everything is. It's an old trick. I do it because my opponents can do it to me. So I just say, fair is fair. I'm going to do it too. Here's a big mug. Give this man a blockbuster. So mug is in one, pogo's in two. Mug is in three. So it's five, four, five, one. Five, four, five, one. Uh, he still has that pogo, so the bird's not very good here. Five, four, five, one. He's gonna probably go face. Five and two wins. I could make him. I could make him bounce this, so he doesn't go face for, for more damage. And actually, might be a good play. And we'll protect this so it lives. Should have done that first. I say force him to bounce lane 5. So he can't go face for 5 damage here, which is a lot. He also can't make a... well, he can make a plane lane 4, I guess. We're really exploiting the mug glitch. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so that would have won the game if he didn't have to bounce this. He kind of probably should have bounced only one anyway there. Uh, two and five. Hopefully we block. Looking good. We just need four damage. Where's plant food? We have two, we have two damage to face here. There's time to shine. We definitely don't use it here. How do we do this? Uh, five plus one in the water lane. We got him, guys. Yeah, that's lethal. Unless he plays an amphibious minion. Unbelievable. Good game. Yeah. Captain Cucumber conjuring the clutch amphibious minion for exactly lethal. Damn. Is, is this good enough? It's such a sad one drop. Alright. Good time to shine his breath. Doesn't play on ground. I don't know if he's playing around like just uh 
rumble or it's not even it doesn't die to rumble. I don't know why he's playing on it. Maybe he's playing around my Triceratops, which otherwise I would have played on Heights here. See what he's got for turn two. Doesn't have a way to deal with Triceratops. See a smoke bomb. Cool. So I craft four Fireweeds and one Astrocado from your Agri Solar Flare deck. Um, yeah, Fireweed is is less important. So about crafting four of them. Do you? If you have all your Elderberries and you have your Pumpkins. And even Blooming Heart is way more important than Fireweed, because Fireweed you can replace with... It is better than than Wildberry, but you could use Wildberry instead in a, in a pinch. I would say yes, if you have all of your Blooming Hearts, which are more important. Uh, then yeah, go for it. Uh, fine. Damn, he's running Smelly Zombie, the ultimate answer. To try Keratops, really good answer. I, I think people should just run Smelly Zombie so much more because of how, how many try Keratops there are. Oh, I'll get wrecked for We have Brainana, which is very cool. So we'll probably be Rex. Oh man! It's making me even more want to not be Rex this turn. We have one, two, one. It's probably good. The Rumble's just getting better here. Okay. So B Rex, you know, draws a card, it, it grows a lot. It's really good here. The the rumbles denies him this this value. One, two, one. This could be a play also. I'm gonna be Rex. Deny this, kill this card, free trade, get the, this will go up to 5 attack here because of the party time, we'll draw another card. Let's actually go up to 6 because of the Cucumber. So, we'll rumble next turn. Here's this, we'll double 3 is nice. And we Cali rolled. We use this... Use this now. We have to use all of our sun this next turn, so there's no point in holding it for the extra buff. So we have Brain Nif turn five Brain Nana, which is ridiculous here. Come on, just pass. Just pass. <laughs> Probably not. We also have like Winter Melon, you know, if he plays, he's not gonna be able to remove Winter Melon. Winter Malone. So that's almost a pass. We could Brain Nana. He already used his guy, he could have freeze environment, and we'll have a 1 in 50% uh, chance of winning here. Brinana's really good. 50% chance of winning. He needs Ice Moon. If he gets his super, he loses. He, we can also roll a 1 and a 2. He's doing maximum 5 damage to me, so our Rumble is just going to put him away anyway next turn. We're milled. It's okay. So turn 5, Brinana. Does he get Ice Moon? Yes! Lethal! <laughs> we have a little close calls today, but we're 5 and 0, oh, guys. Go! Dragon. Yee! Brainana. Turn 5. No one is expecting. Ain't nobody expected Brainana. I've been hit by the Captain Cucumber 5 cost Brainana so many times. So happy. The tables have turned. Yes. Yeah, man, I don't have any regrets developing that B-Rex. If the B-Rex survives turn four, the amount of damage and tempo it gives you is just... It's really insane. So, get rid of you. Get rid of you. I don't know about double min on two against the Morticia. It's just... It's not gonna... I mean, if he get Well, uh, alright, I gotta get rid of one of these, right? Okay. Fry him up, why are you so fun? Oh, you guys are so nice. Because my mommy made me that way. I don't know. I don't even know. How would I know? That's a really good bong chili. 
We have so many tricks we're gonna play. Just gotta get rid of that. So that's a rat, a squirrel, or a teleportation zombie, or a drone engineer. So this is a perfect, absolutely perfect doublement. Love it. Really punish. And again, besides for rocket science, not a whole lot of ways to deal with this. This extinction event. This should be, this This is going to take some resources from the opponent to deal with. Let's see what happens here. I think we, we go for card draw. There's nothing really they can teleport in that does four damage here, right? Moonwalker obviously is only on heights. How do you style your hair? I, I just comb it. I put water on it and I comb it. Uh, I think now we play around... We play around um, uh, Electrician. That's a cool card. I could just give him the double bump already, man. And Morticia with environments. Mm. That's tough. This thing has a lot. It's just gonna get rocketed. That was the problem. Get oofed. It's probably as good a time as any to. If he has area, he'll. You know, honestly, area really sucks next turn. Let's go for this. Slamo. So he'll probably just buff this. Uh, the opponent could just have Evaporate in hand, which means Doublement dies for free. <laughs> That's bad. Ugh. I hate how he has Teleportation Zombie. It's not actually very good against Doublement Double Strike, so... Either needs Evaporate or Rocket Science. Minions aren't gonna really help him. Here's a 6-3. That's cool. Should I just go Phase here? For 6 damage. Let's do it. No evaporate, please. That's only two damage. That's only one damage. No evaporate. No evaporate. So acid rain definitely uses evaporate there. I mean, ain't no question about it. So he either has acid rain. This isn't blocked. Oh, the block is leaning on the field to one and three. Ah. <laughs> We just plant food <laughs> for nine. I don't know. Uh -oh. All right, let's look at the cards. Bow. Another one. Oh, I forgot we can do this. That's fun. That's lots of fun. Uh, I think we actually like the card draw better now, so we'll do it like that. Pretty good. I love how we have a full board and we can always just savage something next turn. I didn't want to plant food this turn because it sometimes gets blocked and doesn't really put us within range of lethal. We're, we'd rather I'd rather just develop tempo. That's cool. <laughs> Since he could teleport in things with 3 attack, I'd rather just keep this team up lane and the 6-3 available. Put in a t teleports in gravestone, so that's actually something Morticia can do. Uh, we still draw the card though, so the attack is actually not in vain. Awesome. Hey, okay. Mama! <laughs> that's so annoying, this cat. What is he? Why? Okay. Ah! Since this is proccing the block, maybe I'll play the P here. Go P. Uh, 
How about P and Savage? Well, this looks fine. And we don't want to buff this. So P... Savage. 1836? <laughs> Give this man a rocket science or something, man. So, he, uh, teleportation zombie still alive. He leaps that into a four. I'm right? looking for Pogo. Doesn't get it. It's really an inconsequential leap. Like, what is he? He's looking for a uh, blowgun now. Binary is interesting. <laughs> okay. No evaporate. That's fine. He got summoning. Oh, we're dodging bullets here. There's that. He's doing double damage. It doesn't make any difference on this, and it'll get the savage down to two health and stuff. Oh, that goes face. Never mind. I forgot we had double, so it turns out double strike. It just dominated there for 18 damage. Amazing. <laughs> Guess that's a highlight intro. Man. Can Umbrella be better than Bong Choy? It's not, it, Bong Choy, it's not just about early game control, it can be used as an aggro card. It can be used, you know, even late game to finish something off. Umbrella doesn't actually do anything. It just makes some of the opponent's cards less convenient. It just doesn't justify, not a one cost card, but just a card. It's a whole, you need every card to do, to be impactful. So I really don't like Umbrella Leaf. There's so many non, non, trick ways of removing things like deadly and just doing teleporting in a minion with enough attack it's just this is a really bad card against brainstorm these are two very good cards so even doing these on two and three should be fine uh we rumble that hell yeah playing it on the ground greedily I wonder if we actually keep that rumble for turn three. Uh, <laughs> that would be greedy. Because usually decks like this, with, if there's running Disco Nod, it's usually running a bunch of little stuff. So this is usually Kanga. Um, do we want this to be on high? I think because of the coffee ground, we'll start playing on the ground here and put the B-Rex on high. Oh, it's... Really wasn't expecting Drone Engineer. It's usually Teleportation Zombie. I thought because of the Disco Nod, it was Kanga. Ooh. Uh, getting a one would be nice here. Electrician hurts big time. Damn. So he trades that one away. I mean, he's still trading his three drop for my two drops. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just a straight hair tough. So good. Is this now? Yeah, it's gotta be B Rex and, and one, right? It's fine, and again, there's no tricks that deal with either of these, so. Oh, it's just a waste of a card. He gets a treat, though. So that's cool. So, depending on what he plays, if he play, I might plan for this turn. I could party time plan food, it's not terrible. There's this, I'm keeping that. <laughs> That's a 2 2 buff to keep it. It's like a galvanized by not playing it. Dino Roar OP, guys. <sighs> we have so many plays here. I could literally just play these two. I don't even have to go for the Savage. I'd rather probably play two cards anyway here. And then, I don't know. It's a fine play though. So this is usually not going to deal 4 damage as a great. It could be Binary Stars, which I say at that point is fine. It, he could play Treat, though. Uh, Alright, so maybe we do want to protect this. Pretty good protect. We could go 4. We can also go 1 plus 3. I, I think we protect this no matter what. So what's the play, then? We could uh, do some insane party time stuff right now. <laughs> B-Rex usually dies to healthy treat if this is a cheap gravestone, so I'm actually going to do it like this. Like you. 
and then I'll put this here. And that makes that, that makes us draw cards. This, these both grow by 2-2 two, two just during the attack phase because of all the double strike. We're doing probably 9 damage to face. Actually, 10, because this will grow even before it attacks. Uh, we're in a really good position here. And again, uh, give the man either a fruitcake or a rocket science fine, okay? But we're doing 5 and 5. We're one off lethal here. Yummy. Grow. Grow. <laughs> Party. Honestly, this is the best I've ever seen party time do. Period. Opponents or or in a deck that we've done for sure. I've never had a good party time deck. The party times are insane because of the dino roar. Like drawing cards isn't enough, but gaining all this tempo, man. And chump blocking and being a bottom for Savage. Oh, that's such a slow play, bro. Now he only has one. He only has one brain left. Give the man... Uh, it's just plant food, right? Whee! So we're 7-0. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's all coming together, guys. Damn. Yeah, I wasn't gonna, like, use uh, plant food to remove one of his cards since I, oh, was, I was putting so much pressure on winning that it's better just to keep on developing our, our face damage instead of playing a, an efficient removal play, you know? That's a fine hand right there, man. Brain Freeze does not have good answers to Triceratops or Doubled Mint. So it's probably going to be Bong Chai at 1. We have the answer to, obviously, to um, Cheese Cutter. If he passes, then this is a just, you know, a bottom for the Savage Spinach later. So love having these 1 drops. And then Triceratops, there's no answer to. And then we'll go dub Doubled Mint Grow on, on 3. And I will play these on the ground, so... He can't, uh, he could Acid Rain this one. I wonder if we play it on Heights. That's interesting. Um, is the value that this grows greater than the Triceratops? I guess it is. A really interesting play. I'm gonna d go value because he's all in. Obviously, if he passes there, he always go Triceratops. But because he went all in on two, his guy grows by one, one every turn. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's going by one two this turn. See what happens down the stretch. So if he passes, we go Triceratops for Get Me Nuts, I think. If not, we go with the photo. Love making his tricks inefficient here. I, I wonder if I should just. If he passes, I wonder if the play is just double for Get Me Nuts, time to shine. Bruh. Okay. So we definitely don't develop a forget-me-nuts here. It's gonna be... This will go up to 2-4, and I do... I don't want this getting too out of control. I also don't like this on heights. So I'm gonna play... I'm gonna play you... So I like the double mint being completely out of control here. And just which one of these do I photo? If I don't photo this, it'll only have one health next turn. This one, regardless, has four. So, we'll, we'll photo this. And we'll, we'll probably just, like, use time to shine to kill the energy drink next turn. It'll be a good value, and it removes a card, activates some base damage. Pretty good. Yeah, the Vampire really not a good answer to this doubled min here. Because like, we go up to 4-4 four, four now. Photo, yes! I really hope he goes for tricks now because we have an amazing play. That's sad. He does go for tricks, so is 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 playing is playing tricks here. We could just go double forget me nuts, and then he can only play one cost tricks, which don't really do a lot. We don't actually have to time to shine anymore. He could play galvanize. Suck. We could also just take the L here on the Frady Cat. And play a photo this turn. Honestly, even if he galvanizes, we're so far ahead. Let's just pass. We'll kill this Frady Cat and we'll use these next turn. 
I love how we have a 2-1 that not only is blocking his tricks here, it's killing his 4-2. We, we can save the time to shine, you know what I mean? Instead of using time to shine to kill that, we'll use it later to finish him off. Just kind of want to dodge the galvanize. Acid Rain is... I mean, it keeps this Freddy Cat alive. Did we cuck him? He has galvanized. Okay, so double min trades. Essentially, we, we gave the photosynthesizer the Triceratops. Double min trades for a three drop plus a one drop plus a superpower. I mean, that's that's money in the bank. No problem with that. We are ahead in terms of cards, in terms of board. And he doesn't have a superpower anymore. We have the best superpower. <laughs> Literally the best one. So let's just photosynthesize this until we find a playable card here. Ah. That's alright. Roll it then. Planter. That's cool. I'll take planter. Uh, I think we'll put it here. It's a synergy with the uh, other card. We conjure plants here and plus an environment. Very cool. We also have environment time to shine. Oh my gosh, it's so, so slow. It hurts so much. We, we have, this is going to be turn six coming up, right? So we have literally red planet time to shine with bullseye minions on the field. Bro, GG, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this play. Oh, that's insane. The synergy with the bullseye. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, the answer is yes. How many people voted yes for this deck? 41% voted yes? Wait. No, 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 no. That was yesterday's vote. Sorry. It didn't update. There's no way 41% of people voted yes for this deck. 73. That's more like it. So the answer is definitely... Definitely yes. Let's get for that 10 and 0, guys. Damn, this works. This, this is... I don't know how, what similarities this has. There was a Discord deck that was called Savage Cucumber or something. I, I don't... Probably a very similar deck list, actually, now that I think about it. One, two, three. A, a absolutely stellar starting hand. Only thing we don't want to see on one is Con Man. But even so, it's fine. Yes! Um, do we play around Trapper territory, or do we play around the eventual laser base alpha? I think because we're running the double strike environment. And again, he's not necessarily running laser base. We'll take the value now. Go, here we go, here we go. So that's either Monkey Pirate, Swashbuckler, Conga. I guess I'll play around Conga. Swash, we can. Well, we'll be up there against the Swash. It's Conga. <laughs> Answer to forget me, that's Conga, man. So, yep. Yeah. This is the well. Uh, I really hope it's not a smelly zombie. That would suck. I'm playing around like, you know, the excavator. I don't know what I'm playing around. Newspaper. So, Rumble clears both of these, so that's. It looks like a cool play for him. No! Alright, his deadly's gone. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Wish I would have photoed this one. You're probably player on deadly. Play into Rumble. Do we have any peas in this deck? Ooh, Cucumber Rumble looks good. I, I was a little bit unsure about using it. I wanted to develop Bananasaurus Rex, but I mean, this is... I hope he develops one more. Oh my god. So he's all... <laughs> Bro, come on, man. You gotta play around. You gotta play around my main superpower. Let's go, dude. <laughs> So the B-Rex party time becomes a really good play on turn five. Man, I've never been happier to see party time. <laughs> Sheesh. We're still conjuring and we gain this card back. We just have the card advantage now. Hell yeah. There's a reincarnation.
We have, wait, do we have like two? Oh, no. Wait, we have two reincarnations. Wait. We got one from Photosynthesizer. And we got one from Captain Cucumber. There are many ways to reach the reincarnation bliss. So this is the play now. Uh, like this. Damn, that's good. Again, not, not a whole lot of ways to deal three damage. You get fruit cake, because that just furthers our card advantage. We also get... He's actually running Wrath, okay? Very uncommonly used card. That was really good. He denied us cards, and that would have been a 4-4 by the time a Cucumber hits. Cucumber, anyway, trades one for one, draws a card here. Terrible reincarnations, not gonna lie. Really bad. <laughs> He's like, you want to see legendaries? I'll show you legendaries. Now yeah, what? Is that binary steps? Should I should I be playing for for Molokale just so we can use it? This is actually in our hand. I wonder if I just go four and two. <laughs> Screw it. Four, two. I put it here. Put it here. Put it here. I'll put it here. We're gonna get some serious leaps. It's fine. Four gods, four five. I'm probably just gonna leap that. I'm gonna just gonna play Molokale. Yeah, it's not terrible. Four gods, four five. Reincarnation kind of always okay. It's just not. Getting an actual good static card would have been <laughs> would have been really good. So you will leap to I don't know. Do I want this or do I want three drops? Is the real question. We can always play Triceratops after. So we go to. Oh, we can't really play anything into this though, right? Damn, this molecule kind of just got screwed up. I mean, is two three drops deal eight damage? No way. What the hell is this thing? So we go Molokale. So I just want three drops on the board? I don't know. Are these better than three drops? I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm out of time, so that's the play. Maybe this will turn into some miracle card, I don't know. Oh! Why did it decide where I'm moving for me, though? Wait, I hope it lets... We got two doubled men. Two, two... That was so weird, but this actually survives now. Really weird, odd luck here. This actually... Sir, this lane, the team-up lane, survived. Going face for five, he'll kill the one one. And we have all these peas now. Peas, this is fry. I wonder if I'm gonna put something with like some attacks. So I'll proc the block. Like put something on this and just time to shine. So that's five. Oh my gosh, this guy's so dumb. We win. And it's not. We have lethal and and four lanes. So we we just BM him for a little bit. La 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 la. Here, I'll play this. <laughs> Don't mess with Sky Shooter. Copy P for the win. We, I think we ran out of time because I took so long for the play, so that's why I decided where to move this. That was fine. That's actually the Octo move to exactly the lane we wanted it to. Um, maybe lane 5 would have been better? Yeah, lane 5 would have been better. Sorry, so the answer is yes already. Long time ago. Years ago. And uh, we're 9 and 0. <laughs> I didn't think this was going to be the 10 and 0 deck, but we're going for it, guys. Going for that coveted 10 and 0. Here's some cool cards. Gotta keep the photo, right? It's be fun. And if he plays like Con Man, it's a great answer to it. Otherwise, we just develop it. See, it is a it is a really cool thing. I don't... I wonder if I go after this. There's a bunch of things this turns into that wins the trade. I think because of the Savage Spinach. I'm just gonna keep this here. 
I'll put it in middle just to manipulate block meter potentially. And again, that's that's also another it, since it also turned into a wipe, it turns into like a cheese cutter, obviously you wanna kill it, but there's a bunch of things that it doesn't kill, and then there's a bunch of things that you just Thanks for playing a one one in my face, you know what I mean? Bruh. So forget me nuts is cool here. I think this is fine though. Final. Okay, but it's still a two for one. It's okay. Look out. Triceratops, a two cost card, took out an egg and a final mission. This is fine. Let's see if we can get some value from this rumble coming up. Quasard. That's. This is fine. This is the definition of fine. Who is calling me? Is Astro Shroom any good here? <laughs> kind of want to be Rex next turn, but I don't know. Is Astro any good? I don't think so. We'll get cards and we'll play Astro Lane. It's uh, another decent uh, four drop. Let's see it. Uh, we're only running three different Guardian cards, right? We have a total of 12 Guardian cards in this deck. The rest is Megaro. That's cool. You don't see me whining. This is interesting. He's The Rumble's good. I think the Rumble's still going to be better later, so let's just play this. I don't think he's going to have... With a one-cost trick, what is he going to do with it already? Let's trade. He could have a Bungie for Synergy. Shrink Ray, come on, man. He has the super pairs. That is okay. That will not do damage this turn, but next turn we can get it up to two with the photo. A lot of stuff we can do here. It's clones. It doesn't. It's just not very consequential. It dies to rumble next turn. That is fine. In fact, we usually block and the B Rex just grows from that. We are. Always holding on to that. Well, two, three, four, five looks awesome. Oh, he's playing into it. So we draw first. Ridiculous. Ridiculous card draw. Rumble. This is up to four, five now. Double mint. Doesn't really matter where. And we give the buff to the double mint. Now everything's beyond bungee plumber range. Get right, bro. And he has four, you know, he's going for a trick stage with four brains against a forget me nuts. Like, what's the worst thing you could do here? It's too slow. Nice play. Not nice enough. Do we win? Okay, okay, now it's scary. Now it's scary. That's a cool chopper. Rawr. Is Savage Spanish the play? Damn, he just has to get 8 damage in. There's no way of him doing bonus attacks. Thinking of developing Wingnut? We could just go for the Savage Spinach, too. I don't think the Astro Shroom is right here. I think this is the play. It just makes lanes 1 and 4 lethal, and then 2, and then 1 and 3 is lethal, and then 2 is lethal, and then... This has gotta be right. Hell yeah. So he freezes. So this is lethal. This lane independently, and then these two lanes combine. That's why the Savage Spinach kind of spreads the love. And now he has one brain and nothing to do. Deadly doesn't help. 10-0, guys. 
heck yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Literally, guys, this is our second 10 and 0 stream in one day. This morning we played Marvel Snap for the first time, also. Spoiler alert. We went 10 and 0. I don't think I've ever had two 10 and 0 streams in the same day, guys. Unbelievable. I mean, this deck dominated. Honestly, the 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 the, the it it seemed like the, the double mints were fine. I like the double mint photosynthesizer. There were even times again where the opponent went all in on two, and you play double mint instead of Tricaratop just because of how much it it grows from turn to turn. It's weak, but we never really had a double mint like get removed. I mean, you got to be careful when you're playing it. We were never forced to play it. That's the key. This really worked. I think the forget-me-nots also protecting the double mint from tricks. There's just a lot of things. And the party times were insane. The party times were so much tempo. It wasn't just card draw, it was buffing our dinosaurs. And maybe we should go like party time, mega grow, and do it with Captain Combustible. Because he has a lot of dinosaurs. You know what? Why the hell not? Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did that. It's most definitely going on YouTube. What an amazing deck. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.